Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Elias and welcome back to Sky Factory 3. In the last episode, we got started with a couple of things that we're going to continue today. So the first thing was we went to 00, zero and started building um, what I've been calling the Colossal Chest Island. Um, one of the advancements, achievements, whatever uh, we need to do is to build a 16x16x16 16 by 16 by 16 Colossal Chest. And I figured, I don't want it around here, we're not going to use it, so we went to spawn, we started building up a little bit of an island, and we're going to continue working on that in a little bit. Um, so I have to grab a wand, got to remember to do that. And I've been making a bunch of the chest uh, things, we don't need that much dirt, I'd rather have the chest. So let's go actually take a look at that, um, actually in a moment. Um, the other thing I've been working on is blood magic. So this is our blood magic altar. We are going to fill in a lot of these spots with some pretty cool things. Um, we're going to have, this is what the altar is going to end up looking like. We just have to fill in the blank runes. And uh, yeah, I had to make it kind of tall because I didn't want to interfere with this too much. Uh, I was finding out that if I put it down where... Um, the first set of runes is actually on top of the stone. Uh, this area got really, really small, so I didn't like that. Oh, no, it's not centered. Oh, no, I messed up somewhere. Oh, well. Um, I will move this over one block. That'll be fine. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, yeah, that's going to bother me. So, uh, I've been making a bunch of blank slates. In fact, I do believe it's time to... Give us some more blood. We made a little bit of basic automation for this, uh, but I like the way this looks. Uh, it is definitely going to be very dark and grimy looking, um, but that's okay. I kind of like that. Um, we'll get rid of the torches eventually. Not now, though. And, uh, yeah, the only other thing that I'm not super big on, we need more room up here. Um, so I might actually extend this just a little bit this way uh, so it doesn't feel so like almost claustrophobic here uh but we're gonna be working with blood magic mostly today so uh real quick let's go fly back to zero zero it's not that far away luckily and um i have been working a little bit on the gigantic cube um but we need to continue continue working on it so um we'll come back at some point i will probably come back at some point and make this island look a little bit nicer uh, but for now Something like this isn't too bad. So we just need to build this up. And hopefully I have enough and we can finish this right away. So um, there's one other thing we are going to need. But we'll get to that soon enough. So it might be close. Um, I made 500. I think that is enough. Uh, and then one of these actually has to be removed so yeah um, that's enough so what we're gonna do I'm gonna extend this by two more blocks in every direction and come back in and fill in the the grass areas um, F7 we're gonna make sure that this is well lit I don't want this to be super dangerous, like creepers, you know. Um, though we might get some souls and stuff, that'd be kind of cool. Anyways, um, yeah, we'll come back to this. We need to break one of these, and I think I'm going to break this one right here. Kind of looks good. Um, I did remove the, uh, the angel block, by the way, just because it didn't seem like it was a good idea to keep it there. Uh, it was never going to be centered or anything like that, so, uh, wow, I do like the way that looks, the, uh, the nether wreck. Anyways, um, so we just need to do one more thing to finish the colossal chest, uh, and then we'll, we'll never use it again. And for that we need, uh, the core. Uh, that is an interface, we need a colossal chest core, which is just a piece of iron. So that is really easy. Alright, so let's head back and put this in, make a colossal chest, 
and then never look at it again, basically. Um, I will probably make this island look a little bit more shapely. I don't know. Um, it depends on how I feel, but there we go. There is a colossal chest. And those blocks aren't actually real. I like that it actually animates. That's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, there we go. Colossal chest completed. Um, that's going to store a ton of items. If we made it out of a different uh, material, it would store even more. But we can mark that off. Cool. Uh, so what we're going to be working on today mostly is doing some of the blood magic stuff. And blood magic has in this mod, in this version of the mod, uh, six tiers of the altar. We're supposed to make a tier five altar. I actually don't know if we can make this tier six. Uh, so let's see. Crystal, um, crystal clusters. Yeah, so we cannot make tier six. Uh, that is kind of a shame. Um, because I have everything set up to do that. Um, this is a tier 6 altar. Uh, tier 5 would be at this level. So we're not going to worry about like finishing this completely. Um, but eh, it would have been nice. Oh well. Uh, we have everything we need there. Um, we're going to need a bunch of stone. So let's just grab a ton of stone. And can we sleep? Yes. Let's get rid of this rain. I don't know why it's always raining on this world. It, it just feels like it's always raining. Uh, Alright, so we're going to get some stone. That should be enough. And we can get started with some stuff. So, um, first thing we need to do is make a ton of blank runes. Uh, blood runes, rather. Oh no, they are called blank runes. So we're going to make a bunch of blank runes. And these are your building blocks for the altar. Um, they go... Oh, get rid of that. Uh, is there something underneath? No. Okay. Um, turning off the uh, indicators for the, the light levels. So these go here. And uh, we can upgrade the runes. Uh, so for example, we can make... Uh, speed runes, which require more blank slates and some stone and sugar. Uh, these make things go faster. Uh, displacement runes. Um, there's a bunch of different runes. I will talk about what they do if we end up using them. Um, a lot of them we will probably never ever touch. But uh, it's good to know about them um, because they do make this a lot nicer. So, we should have a tier 3 altar, right? Well, not quite. Uh, so, in order to make the tier 3 altar, because remember, tier 1 is just the blood altar. Tier 2 is the 8 blank runes around the blood altar. Uh, and then tier 3 requires some glowstone. Here, 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 and here. Now, this should be a tier 3 altar. What does that mean for us? Well, we can do some more stuff. I believe the capacity goes up a little bit. And do we have any more? Or is that all the slates that we have? Or do we have more. That is all the slates I have. Wow, I actually made exactly enough. So one of the big things we can do is we can make the next tier of Blood Orb. Uh, so the next tier is the Magicians. That requires blocks of gold and a bunch of blood. So uh, one thing we're going to do is take out all of this, you know, we'll make one more rune, why not? Uh, we're gonna need a bunch of blood, and eventually what I want to do is not use my blood. I wanna use other things' blood. Um, specifically, I think blazes. Uh, so we're gonna need a block of gold. Let's get that. And, hmm. You know, we have these advanced rings. I wonder. Can we make the advanced ring of regeneration? It requires an ender star, which, not that hard. And a bunch of gas tears. Let's see if we can't make that. That might work. I don't know if it will or not. Um, alternatively, we could probably get a golden apple. Um, I've gotten a few of these from various sources. But 
Uh, this will, so whenever we sacrifice our, our life or anything like that, uh, we get this soul fray, and I believe that nerfs regeneration. Maybe not. All right, um, so we can we could do more, but I think uh, I don't even know what's going on. There we go. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's strange. Uh, anyways, we're only at like a fifth of what we need to get the. Magician's Blood Orb. So, what we're going to want to do... I don't think the rings are going to be the answer. Uh, what we're going to want to do... Is get a Dagger of Sacrifice. And this is just a Iron Sword. Um, in fact, we might even have some. Uh, let's see. Dagger. We do. We have 14. So we don't even need to make it. Uh, but what this will do is it will allow us to kill things that are above our altar to get uh well life so what we're gonna do is i need to extend this another i need to, to build this platform out a little bit more um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually build a oh, how do i want to do it do i want to make it out of nether rack i mean it would be appropriate should also make it out of glass hmm Okay, so we're going to need a diamond chest transporter. Uh, because this is another achievement. Uh, and I don't remember where it's at, to be honest. I think it's in exploration. Yeah, use a diamond chest transporter to bring home five blaze spawners. So... We're going to start doing that. Uh... We're going to bring them home two at a time until we get five. Now, I might want to get some fire resistance and not have to worry about, you know, dying. But at the same time, eh, I don't think we'll, it'll matter too much. Uh, we have really good weapons. We have decent swords. All right, let's go to the nether. We're going to grab some blaze spawners, and um, we're going to do some different things to them. We don't have to use them as is, um, but we do need to bring them home for the achievement. No big deal, though. So, oh, that's an old death. I don't, I don't even remember that death. Why is that even there? That's an old, old death. All right. So we're going to head this way. Um, and picking up the blaze spawners will give us some pretty bad effects. But... One. Um, broke that one for something else. Here is a second one. No. Okay, here is a second one. Two. Okay, now we head back to our portal. And yeah, we have like slowness. Um, slowness the three, mining fatigue, hunger, lots of bad effects. And I have a feeling that the chest transporters are going to break once we place these down. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them over here. And then we can do things with them. Uh, ah, wow, they're not breaking. Uh, can we make one more of these? Just so we don't have to make another trip. Yes, we can. They're really easy. Uh, so, let's get a diamond chest transporter. And we'll go grab three more. Uh, blaze spawners. And then uh, they are going to probably spawn in the overworld, and especially if we take too long. 
Uh, what? If we look at journey map, there is... There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of blazes, for one. Blazes don't seem too happy that I took their spawner. Alright, nothing there. Uh, there is another fortress just a little bit further this way. Uh, so we should be able to find three. Or is it over here? There is another one right here. Um, okay, so we might have to look around for some more blaze spawners. Uh, man, this is a little bit more difficult. Okay, there's another one here. Right, right? Yeah, we're going farther away. Um, these are pretty common just because of... There, there's no generation, so we can just fly to them. There's one, two, and at some point we'll find three. Uh, I guess let's go this general direction. Uh, here is a third. Alright, and now back home. Uh, do we just go basically south? South and a little bit this way. Okay, cool. So that's really all we had to do. Uh, so we'll head back and place these down, uh, mark off our quest, and then, hmm, we've, we've been having troubles with the uh, Draconic spawners. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn these into disturbed spawners. Um, all of them, in fact. Well, that's disappointing. All right, let's let's go home. Uh, unfortunately, we're really really slow. Okay, with that we can start working on. Uh, we're gonna have to build up a little bit of a section, but there's three, four, and five. Now it is getting sunset, which means that things will start spawning unless we sleep. So, uh, I don't want the blazes to spawn, uh, preferably. So, what we're going to do, we need a drop or stack of evil. Um, but, more importantly, diamond chest transporter, bring home five blaze spawners. That was easy. Uh, okay. So, with that taken care of, we're going to pop all of these, and it doesn't actually use the drop of evil. But now we have five disturbed mob spawners. Now, now I have some questions. Um, we need a mob changer. Um, what is it? Uh, there it is, what is it called? A spawner changer. So a spawner changer requires some shards which we don't have that many of ooh um that's a bummer uh so this can be turned on and off we can have redstone on redstone off all that fun stuff uh so we can make blaze spawners and whatnot uh we need an empowered diamonding crystal uh, we have a little bit of the diamond part, but no of the blocks. And these are, I believe, a one-time use. Um, causing the spawner to be changed and the changer itself to be destroyed. Probably won't work with every type of mob. Uh, so that is a big deal. Uh, I want to kind of see what mobs we can use, but we need to make we need to make some stuff first. So we're gonna want the display stands, and hmm, 
we got to set this up at least temporarily. We're going to just do it right over here. One. Uh, get that there. Two blocks away in every direction. Uh, we'll take the diamantine crystal. That goes in the middle. And how do we charge it? We need two clay, a clay block, and light blue dye. That is really easy. So clay, two of those, one of these, and a light blue dye. All right, so we'll get this going, and we'll head back to the nether once again. And hopefully this stuff has enough power to empower that. Um, I actually don't know what the, the cost is. We also need some food. I get some more fried eggs. And yeah, let's go back to the nether. Um, we're going to have to go to another uh, blaze spawner somewhere. And you know what? We've mostly been going north. Uh, let's go south and see if we can find anything. Because uh, typically uh, nether fortresses form in a straight line. Um, and is it north, south, east, or is it east, west? It might be east, west, but it seems like we've gotten a bunch up this direction. So I don't know. This is strange let's just keep looking for a little bit and we just need to go break some spawners this is kind of silly but um what we got to do so i guess we'll just head to here and just head north uh well, we should find some more spawners i believe there's more spawners on that last uh, fortress we found so yeah this one I think uh, let's see nothing there this is a decent sized fortress nothing there then we went this direction uh, I'm gonna go n just plain north and still run into the same one wow all right uh, that spawner Come on, break. Do we have our magnet on? We do not. So let's turn our magnet on. Uh, we're gonna land this time. We find another spawner. Uh, just so that it's a little bit easier. There are so many fortresses. Uh, it's just really quite nice to be able to find all these, but... Alright, go. Cool. Um, anything... Do we want to do another? We have... Uh, we do need to do another. We only have two. Uh, so... We needed at least three. And should we check to see if there's any more in this fortress? I don't see any more, but this is a... Pretty cool looking fortress. It's got double. You can see see like the the layers and whatnot. That's cool. Uh, anyways, let's head back home, uh, south into the east. We have enough spawner shards to do what we need, and um, we're only going to be making one spawner. So the question that we have to answer is, what mobs can we use now? Ideally, we would be using, uh, we would use villagers. Uh, villagers give the most blood, uh, at least they used to. I don't know if that's still true. I believe it is. It makes sense. Um, passive mobs give the least, and then hostile mobs give more, but then uh, the, most, the most difficult mobs to get, which are the... Uh, the villagers obviously give the most so uh, if we can't use villagers I'm not sure what we'll end up doing uh, we might 
I don't want to use blazes just because blazes can be kind of uh, well pain to use. Uh, mostly just because they are. How, how do I want to put it? They are finicky on what they allow you to do. So like, if you want to use, uh, if you want to use blazes, you have to have. Uh, the light levels and all that kind of stuff, right? I'd rather just use like zombies or skeletons or even witches. So let's get the spawner changer and Now the big question is can we get a villager if we can like I guess technically you're a villager but you just stand there. So I don't know that we can use that villager. Um, the last millennium, do we have access to that? Um, or was that removed? It might have been removed. I think it was removed. Okay, uh, older version of the mod. Uh, extra utilities used to have a dimension called the last millennium, which was really nice and pleasant to have you know to to, to uh, There there was a it was basically a void world and it had a villager in it. So let's see Can we get like a villager or something um I think I think we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way, which is kind of neat. Um, most people forget about this, and so what we need is a. Do we at least have the access to the syringe? No. Uh, okay, so we have to do it the old old-fashioned way. Uh, I just want to make sure one last time. Okay. So what we need is we need a potion of weakness uh, and then a golden apple, uh, just a standard one. And so a potion of weakness, I don't actually remember how to make potion uh, of weakness. So we need gunpowder. Uh, fermented spider eyes and water. Okay. So can we get the fermented spider eye and then the gunpowder and then water bottles? This is going to be pretty easy. So we just need to remember where we have some water in this base. Um, I have a sink. There we go. <laughs> I, I don't usually keep water uh, just sitting around the base, so that was a little bit strange. Anyways, we need to put these in here. And then we need to grab our zombie spawner and activate that. So this is our zombie spawner. And we need to spawn some zombies. Seems pretty straightforward. Uh, we're also gonna go ahead and store our XP. So we have potions of weakness. Now, obviously, we can't use that ourselves. We need to make a splash uh, in order for it to work. And I can always get more golden apples. Uh, I believe there's a few in here. Um, wow, that has a lot of stuff. We need to turn our magnet off, like now. Okay, so uh, I need to go through a lot of this stuff eventually. That's voided. Okay, so we have some zombies. And I want to... Oh man, I wish I could remember... Why can I never remember what button I switch? Um, 
Okay, what button did I switch for controls on Draconic Evolution? I want to get to the GUI so I can turn off the T. Okay, so I can tone down the attack radius to normal. Alright, yeah, you guys can come on out. And... Ow. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to get a soul vial or something like that. I think that would be the easiest way. We have one already. And then we just need to grab a potion of weakness. So regardless of what actually happens here... We are just going to basically kill some zombies. Uh, we should get a capacitor as well. Do we have any capacitors? Uh, we do, in fact. All right. Just going to go ahead and put that in there. we go nice and quick. And what we're looking for is a zombie villager. And once we find one... Uh, we capture them, and we turn them into uh, a normal villager. So this might take a bit of time, uh, and I also need to build up basically where the spawner is going to be. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if we can even get a zombie villager. So you know what, let's turn this off for a second. Uh, let's go ahead and shut that up. Um, put those in there and let's actually go somewhere else uh, so what we can do is just head to uh, a new dimension we have our wow we have 123 levels wow that was strange uh, let's see we can go ahead and don't want the dragon dimlet um, was this one that had something? Where is that? Uh, random one. Dial once. Alright, so we're going to teleport here. And this is not the right one. So let's go home. <laughs> uh, did random, did the other one have what I want? So that can be removed. So this is Dimlet 6. Home. Dial once. Does this have land? That's all we're looking for is just physical land. Uh, no. Alright. I guess we have to go to the dragons if we want to do anything like this. Uh, it might be easier just to find a zombie villager flying around uh, in a dimlet than anything else. So this is expensive, but uh, if we sleep, everything should be fine. I mean, we have a ton of power. Uh, and if we make it day, we'll have even more. Uh, I'm not that worried about power. Or anything like that. Do we have... That's a charge porter. That is wrong thing. Um, okay, so we can go to the Dragon Dimlet. We want to avoid the dragons for once. Um, that is not who we want to deal with. But, uh... Get away from there. There's way too many dragons. Oh my gosh, it's lagging. Okay. So what we're going to do, just to be safe, is we're going to find a cube, I guess right up here. And we're going to just land on it. Um, okay, I do have a teleport here. 
That is good. All right. So I just want to look around and hopefully find. We want to find some normal mobs and maybe find a zombie villager. That's the dream, at least. Uh, so. Some zombies. Not seeing anything. Uh, and then, is that Prosperity Ore? Um, there is also a good bit of, like... Uh, and that is also Prosperity Ore. I've seen a little bit of the... What's it called? Dimensional Shards? Uh, dimensional Shard Ore, whatever. That is really good stuff that I'd like to also try to collect if we can. But um, we just kind of want to... Yeah, right here... There is a little bit. We should probably, our magnet is on, okay. Oh my gosh, it's, it's struggling. Okay, so. That is not a villager, nor a zombie villager. You are just a normal zombie. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. And this will be the plan. I will find a zombie villager somewhere, somehow, some way. And when I do, I will bring you guys back in. Um, well, we'll start. I'll. I'll uh, yeah, I'm lagging really badly. Not entirely sure why. If we can get some dimlets that are not, you know, awful, that would also be nice. Um, specifically, dimlets that give us land. Um, I can do some other things with them and whatnot. That is not a villager, that's just Steve. Uh, okay, so the, the thing is, is I need to figure out how to get a zombie villager. And it's either going to be going to a bunch of these different worlds. Um, and doing basically what I'm currently doing. Or else uh, just trying to do like, uh, seeing if I can get stuff from the... Uh, whatchamacallit, the... Let's go home. Uh, see if I can't get a zombie villager from, like, the zombie spawner. Or any way I can think of, basically. Um, we'll figure out something. But I need to get a zombie villager. And I need to build up a little bit of an area so that I can, um... Start spawning things in. So, I am going to recenter this guy, for one. Um, and then, yeah, we'll come back next time. We'll do more blood magic stuff and hopefully things will go a little bit better. Um, and we'll see if we can actually even use this on a villager or not. I don't know. We'll find out together, um, and go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.